Hi everyone, it is Tiny the Lady Strange. Welcome to day 22 of 31 Days of Strange. Today I'm just going to be showing a book I picked up at the Witchy Garage sale last year in 2023. You may have heard me mention it in one of my recent videos last week in regards to where I picked up the Raymond Buckland's Fortune Teller uh, deck kit set that I showed last week. So yes, and I mentioned it before months ago, um, several many months ago, before I showed myself on camera, etc, etc, um, with my hauls, two part video of that. So this one might have been shown in there as that, but I'm just going to show a little bit more. Now this is Stories in Stones. It's a field guide to cemetery symbolism. And I kind of I can't talk. I'm just not going to even pronounce it. <laughs> even try. Whatever. If you watch my channel for a hot minute, you'll know that. Uh, it's no disrespect. It's just me. So, um, this is a book that was written and photographed by Douglas Keister or Keister. Again, if um, I'm sure the author wouldn't be watching this, but no disrespect. Again, just my <laughs> mispronunciation. Uh, speech issues, whatever the case is. So, yeah. So this was in, again, the witchy estate sale, which I found several gems, several dirt cheap thing. It was an estate sale, but coined the witchy estate sale um, because the person the estate was for had literally hundreds and hundreds of books in all conditions all over the place. Books and gems and decks and oracles and tarot. Um, and some, like I said, I've shown some of that and mentioned it already in the past on my channel. So this was one of the gems I found in good condition. I actually believe this is mass produced and this can be found in Amazon. But I found my dirt cheap. So, hey, why the hell not, right? And of course, I love cemeteries. I love to walk in them, sit in them, reflect with them, have tea and coffee with my friends and my fellow witches and practitioners and just to speak with the dead and reflect on that and hear their voice and hear their whispers and their story and feel um, the cycles of life, death and rebirth and of the ancestors, even if they are not mine. And of course, the veil is thinner and just the magic and beauty of the standing stones of the monuments in the cemetery, the trees that have so much to tell of all the spirits that have roamed there and all the people that have come and gone and all the emotions that it carries with it and all the memories and all the grief and all the tears of joy and the tears and the stories of the past and present and more than likely will still be standing after this in the future. And so many beautiful monuments and graves and poetry written on those stones and inspiration and people's lives and stories and bones and all in between. Very liminal spaces cemeteries are. And for someone like me that works with the dead and communications with them and channeling in spirits in the other realm and across the veil, it's also another place to be at home and part of my natural gift that just does on that. It's kind of nice. I guess a lot of them greet me. Most of them just say, hey, witch or you, but hey, that's fine. They recognize me. I'm a beacon for spirits and I wouldn't have that any other way. I used to kind of be scared of all that stuff. And now it's just a natural part of the experience of life, death and all the in between. And so, with that being said, and with, the, again, the beautiful monuments, stories, and the stories written within that tell in the artwork and the artistry that's involved. This book is great. It's hardcover. And it's got all sorts of things in here. I'm just going to hold up and show some pages again. I'm sure you can find this on Amazon. I know I found it months ago on Amazon. I think it goes for, like, at that point, it was 2025, might probably more with the escalation um, of prices. Maybe not. Who knows? There's things in here like, um, let's see, it says fowls and insects, for example, and it's got a section on that. Um, it's got uh, world symbols. So there's pictures and photography all throughout this in each section and it breaks down the different symbols in regards to this 
um, the Grim Reaper. Quite lovely. Don't fear the Reaper, as Blue Racer Cult says. And we shouldn't fear the Reaper. Um, we all have everything has a life, or everything has an expiration date and death. Um, we all grow old and the um, death is inevitable. But it's just another phrase into the next step of existence, of our soul's evolution. Not the ending, just another beginning. So I'm just going to hold up some examples here because this is just great. I mean, I could get off my lazy ass, to be honest, and get the downward and work with the downward tripod. But, um, yeah, not doing that yet. Someday when I have a bit more patience and a bit more time. Um, at this point, I don't have any patience. Um, any patience I do have is used for my job. And even then, that's wearing thin. Tanya has uh, impatient and anger management issues at points. Oh well. Nothing bad, nothing I hide or proud of. You learn, you grow, you embrace and understand. All parts and in between. Even the dark parts of oneself should be recognized and not pushed down, but understood and integrated. They're all there and created for various reasons and have various purposes in there. There's just so much in this book, and I really do have to give it some justice to delve into that, which is one of my goals between the Samhain 2024, the Samhain 2025, of one of the books I want to give a look at, and one of the types of subjects I would like to give a um, give more into. Of course, I won't be visiting the cemetery much I'm in the winter, maybe from the car with my friend when we drive through and just sit and talk about our day-to-day -day lives um, and experience, but be surrounded by the beauty and the stillness. That doesn't usually deter us, but it's just a little more or less infrequent during those times. Um, I'm just not a winter person. I've mentioned that in a lot of my videos. I do not like snow. I do not like winter. Um, yeah. I, if I could have it, I would have spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> but, and maybe the beginning months of summer, or it's not summer, it's fall because of Samhain, but Let's say after the first week, November, all the way up until like March, I can, well, mid, end of March, that is, I could do without that. But, hey, there's cycles, like I said, I have no control over that. <laughs> Just, yeah. Maybe someday I'll move to a place that has maybe more of those things better and less winter. Who knows? Lots of time to determine. So, with that being said, if you've ever seen this book or you... Or, uh, or you have seen it or you own it, let me know. And if not, and you are into that type of symbology of cemeteries and appreciate the artistic art, artistry and artistic measures and symbolic meanings that actually are on there, or you just enjoy roaming and haunting cemeteries as much as I do, uh, please let me know in the comments. It's greatly appreciated. I appreciate others' comments and experiences. And if you like any of my channels or my strangeness or things I've shared or been following along on this journey or any of my past, um, please like, comment, and subscribe as it helps my channel grow and know that I'm reaching others. And with that being said, stay strange and blessed be.